Hi everyone and welcome to the introduction to insurance part two. Um, first, I'm going to go over a little bit of what we discussed on our last um, lecture um, and that is going to be some of the words that we learned on our last lecture. So we talked about the insurer, who is the insurance company, the insured, who is the customer. We talked about uh, what a policy is, that's a legal contract. We talked about a premium, which is your payments that you make. Um, we talked about risk, which is basically taking a chance uh, that a loss might occur. We talked about your hazards and different types of hazards we're going to talk about later on. Um, we also talked about perils, which is the cause of a loss. And then we also talked about the loss. Um, next, we're going to talk about the insurance concept. You know, what is insurance? That's a big question here. And how do we, you know, how do we determine how insurance works? What does it mean to you? What does it mean to an insurance company? What, did, what does it mean to the insured? And what does it mean to the insurer? Um, basically, if you are um, starting your journey in insurance and you're looking to be an insurance agent, you're more concerned about what insurance means and how it works with the company that you're working for or even if you're going to be working for yourself. So how does insurance work? Well, there's a definition that states that insurance is a social device for spreading the chance of a financial loss among a large number of people. Okay, well, I get that a lot. Like it's, it's it, sometimes it just sounds like words and you just kind of have to take those words apart to really figure out what this definition means. So let's think about it. A bunch of people, customers or insureds get together and they invest in insurance for themselves, but they're giving a company money to pay for any claims that may occur in the future. So I could be paying $50 a month for my car insurance, just for liability, I'm sure, right? But $50 a month. And then if I get into a car accident, there is a chance that my finances are going to be greater than what I've paid into the insurance company. So my little $50 a month, month three, I've paid $150 and I get into a car accident and it's a $15,000 car accident and I'm insured. How does that work? Does that make sense? Yeah. No. Okay. So let me explain. Because insurance is a social device, for spreading the chance of a financial loss among a large number, number of people, a bunch of people are also investing in insurance. The insurance company keeps your premium and holds on to your premium until your policy period is over. And then the insurance company distributes that um, accordingly based on claims. Not everybody's going to get into an accident. But they have enough, they should have enough customers to pay out lump sums, they should have collected enough premium to pay out those those people who have gotten into accidents. And that's kind of how insurance works. So it being a social device is because there's a lot of different people coming together, paying a premium and giving that to the insurance company. And the insurance company is holding on to that premium until the policy period is over just in case, and for the most part, they will probably have to pay out some claims out of that premium. At the end of the premium, the policy period, if there's anything left from that premium, then usually it's considered profit, okay? Um, so let's go over the, the uh, what insurance is. So insurance, again, is a social device for spreading the chance of a financial loss among a large number of people. How? By purchasing insurance, a person shares a risk with a group of others, reducing the individual potential for disastrous consequences. Okay, therefore, individuals pay a premium for insurance coverage to the insurer in exchange for insurance in the event of a loss. 
So a large uncertain loss is traded for a small certain loss. The large uncertain loss would be considered the financial loss. If you if your house burnt down, that that's a large uncertain loss because you don't know that your house is going to burn down until that actually happens. But if you paid insurance and you had homeowner's insurance, your small certain loss is going to make sure that you're insured for your large uncertain loss. Okay, your small certain loss is going to be your premium, your monthly payments. You know for sure that you owe a certain amount of money per month or per period for every six months or every year. Um, and that is certain that that has to be paid in order for you to be insured. Um, so again, what is insurance? Insurance is a social device for spreading the chance of a financial loss among a large number of people. Hopefully this helps you with the definition. Enjoy your day. Again, my name's Rebecca, your insurance lady.